oh no, no, you know, I, I got the letters at the crib. I said, you ain't get a letter from Michigan. You ain't get a letter from Duke. You ain't get a letter from Ohio State. Whole time I'm telling you, cuz, uh, uh, what's, the, what's the name? Man, you see how many of them letters I got, boy, from My, everywhere. Miami over Ohio, I think one is <laughs> Like that. <laughs> they was, that was it. I said, wait a I said, Miami is not in Ohio. Because I don't know it back then. I'm like, it's no, I said, this fake. He came out I and he was like, is Miami in Ohio? In Ohio? <laughs> Low point up. Just keep people in the knees. It's all knees and foot. Molly Mall, please don't pay my cousin any attention. I already knew that because well, you ain't that they smart. Used to tell no, me. It, it was him. Yeah, they used to tell me all the time, you need a podcast, you need a podcast. I didn't know what a podcast was. And then, no disrespect, but I went and looked at one of the podcasts that was out, and I was like, why would anybody watch this? This is not good. This is corny. And, but then he sent me an article one morning that said, Spotify allocates $417 million the first quarter of the year to podcast. 2019. Yeah. 2019. Right when they started dishing out money to Joe Rogan and all out. that stuff. There's yeah. some money out there for us. If they giving out $417 million from January to April, <laughs> there's some goddamn money out there for us. And I, I called him early in the morning. <laughs> I called him early in the morning. I said, just just, just, just read this, man. Because he, he, if it ain't sports, he don't give a about sports. He don't. So he read it. He called me back. I said, listen, I'm going to call you later. We're going to have this paperwork. Just sign this DocuSign. I got the LLC set up, had the logo drawn up. I got with the Shay. I said, Shay, listen, we got to get this logo a trademark. And uh, April 17th, 2019 was the first day we came out. It was game time. It was on after that. We ain't never stopped. First setting. episode went to number uh, two in the world behind Joe Rogan. And where'd you learn all that? In jail, LLC and all, all that? Always, I was all. I was like, I was one of them dudes. Like, I was in jail, so I was like, I ain't trying to be in jail. In jail, I meaning just on some goofy stuff. You know, when you, after spending a, a long amount of time in jail, all the conversations get old. So you're like, damn, I can't, I can't keep coming back. It's like, all right, I, I heard all the war stories. You got money. You f***ed all the chicks. You did this. You did that. That old. I got to start tapping these books because when I go back out there, I got to, I got to take something. I got to do something else because you know the family get tired of you keep going to jail. You keep telling grandma, I'm telling, I'm telling this on the phone, I'm, I'm chilling when I come on. He's like, yeah, all right. Shut up, that's the jail. Man, yep, yep, shit. That's him. Everybody see the jail. jail. Shit, I'm you telling you, it's over. I'm chilling when I come home. Chilling. I'm straight. I got my life together. <laughs> Shut the 
Uh, you gonna run up in a bank soon? So so, <laughs> so so. Everybody, you run everybody, up in a bank. everybody, like, what's his name? I said, listen. So when I, I said, cuz, I'm telling you, when I get home, he said, just come home and chill. So I come home, I'm doing my thing, and I was building my own thing up, cause I, I he's like, come around, cuz. I said, cuz, I can't. Hey, I gotta get my get a little traction first. I can't just come lean on you. And then once I got enough traction, I started. A day, I was just with cuz. A day, a day, a day, and at first. It was a little, it was a little, like people didn't understand what I was doing, they thought I was crazy. Because in the ghetto, when you come home from prison and you ain't going to sell drugs or uh, going to rob somebody, you crazy. See, see, when you see when you robbing somebody, you shooting somebody, you selling dope, you cool. Everybody mess with you. But if you decide to do anything outside of that cool structure of tearing the community down, you a nut, you a square, you a lame, you a loser. So I had to go through all that, they calling cuz, damn it, went crazy in jail, man, they broke him. Running down the street in the rain. He broke. Whole time they call him, I'm in the crib with him. He got him on speaker like, no, he minding this business, man. He says, see, cuz, you doing something. These mm. worrying about you. They got money, you have dudes got money selling drugs, get rappers, all that. What are you worrying about me for? I'm living in the middle room. And it's in the same size as my cell. He said, cuz, keep killing him, keep your foot on him. And I just kept going, kept going. And we just kept doing our thing and it was like, it, it, just, it just turned, you know, we just stayed down. Scary? It got yeah. scary when he called, cause I called Gil. He called. I don't know how he got my number. Oh, that's scary. I'll go. And this dude, said, this dude used to like run what Disney and all this stuff. What you guys stuff. want? He said, mm-hmm. "How much you want?" Wallow's like. He asked that question. Wallow was scared. Like, that question, I'll be like, "Damn, I'm intimidated." Because, because, because you don't think about that. No, because normally when, you get an offer and then you negotiate. When someone says, "What do you want?" You're like, "I've never even thought about that." Because only a with some real money yes. can shit. So what is and exactly the whole time, do you want? I, as soon as he called me. I call, I call Gil, and while I'm talking to Gil, and the way he's talking, I'm Googling, and I'm sending Gil, this who it is, this who it is, this who it is. So when he say, I said, uh, no, what, what y'all, I said, what y'all want? He said, we want to own everything. I said, listen, I got to get legal involved, man. We're going to call you back. <laughs> I got to right? get legal. Click, and I hung up. He said, what you hang up for? I said, cuz, that was spooky, man. <laughs> I was scared, man. I didn't know what was going on, right? He said, I want everything. I said, oh, what's anything? I didn't know. So he, he told, started going back to jail, man. Last time he told me that, my back of head. Yeah, anything. That sounds scary. I said, damn. You know what I mean? Give me everything. Somebody tell you, somebody say, what do you want? Just tell me a number. I'm like, I said, no, you're right, cuz. We got to get up out of here. But, you know I mean, we had to jump off the boat. I was like, and then uh, shout out to Shaka Zulu, too. From Shaka Zulu was somebody that called us one time. And he was like, man, I got to plug y'all with Spotify. He might have got a number from him. But that was going through. And the next thing you know, we was in the office with Barstool uh, for our first deal. Mm. And he, they was like, they wasn't playing. They was Barstool like, got it. Barstool was able to be like, no, you guys are here today, but you guys will be here tomorrow. We're trying we to get in it. early. We, we, we try and get in early. We see it. Mm. So shout out to Dave and Erica because they was, you know, they some good people and they could really see see our vision mm-hmm. yeah they support creators and they man they understand distribution they really no do. one of the things that we liked about them is this whatever we get into however it go they're not gonna give us a call oh we gotta let y'all go things ain't going right they don't care they wasn't scared of none of this a certain 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 platforms you know you get into a back and forth altercation they tell me something oh, we got to spread we got to separate ways it's not looking good yeah. dave don't get they don't give a that's something you care about a lot too is having the freedom for people to trust you that you know what you're doing. You just have you just have to be yourself. You know, you just have to you know stand on your morals, stand on your principles, and you know just be yourself. You know, I'm not into disrespecting people, but you know when I say something, I mean what I say. And those that don't like it, not really my problem. What's the what, what's the biggest business lesson you guys learned from the podcast? Well, me is. One of the most important things to me is ownership. Like we own 100% of our stuff. We only do licensing deals. I believe in licensing deals and me, I'm big on partnership. I love partnership. Uh, and the reason I say that is because as black people, sometimes we get the, the mindset of independent and don't understand that independent don't mean alone. Independent also mean partner. Independent also mean um, Shaq could be independent but he partnered with the Lakers. He partnered with the Heat. And I think sometimes we, we don't understand how it's numbers that Shaq got in his phone that I ain't got in my phone. It's numbers that Gil got in his phone that I ain't got. So it's, it's like, 
a lot of times we got to really tap into partnership because it opened the doors and, and brings so many different resources and it give you a it give you a cosign in worlds you might not be in to tell people they are right because we live in a world today where it's though people got to get permission to f with you they got to get permission to do business with you they got to get permission to like you you know even on the lower level in the community Shaq could be doing this thing and don't got to be Shaq and everybody was like ah oh. soon as certain people liking then they oh oh I can like him now so so that's the same thing as business if 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 Shaq started a podcast and he ain't Shaq and Coca-Cola come and say, oh, you know, he might have been going back and forth with the local companies trying to get with him. And they're like, ah, we don't think. Soon as Coca-Cola stamp, everybody, like, oh, can't nobody say no no more. Uh, Pepsi, sir. Pepsi, my fault. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Edit that out, editors. Pepsi, Edit Reebok. that out. Edit it out. So if Pepsi or Reebok, so now everybody was like, oh, we can't even play with them. Because who is us to play games with them when people that's a zillion times bigger than us got with them? So the business side is what I learned from this. And, and really just networking, man, and, and, and making value exchange with the people that you have on your show. How's the wife? She's great. Uh, on her way back from Turkey and Caicos right now. So hey. She's doing And good. the daughter, the song that I want y'all to drop, like y'all ain't even drop yet. It's, 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 she's going up. She's at like 7 million total monthly listeners in like seven, wow. eight months. So Shout her out. Yeah, give everybody a LA. New York, L.A., you know what I mean? She spell it, spell it. Uh, N three W Y R K L A. Her real name is Nyla N Y L A. So that's where her and Shaq name been rocking before it even came out. Yes, Shaq was rocking before it came out. I sent him a song. He did a whole club mix to it and played it at. Well, well, well Shaq didn't play it. DJ Diesel played. Thank you, Diesel. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is gotta, a different. Gotta, it's, it's, it's two different people. You know what I mean, you got to know the difference. We were we were talking about Philly earlier. I have. A few Philly questions. One, I'm always hearing people talk about New York point guards or they're talking about what is a Philadelphia basketball player to you? Someone that grows up in North Philadelphia or somebody from around the way. What is a Philly basketball player him. like? He is the epitome of that? Yeah, because uh, who? Gil. Gilly. One oh, thing Gil. about him is that uh, he was a great, great high school player. Wound up going to a neighborhood college. <laughs> uh, always... You know, always, <laughs> always, always telling me all this crazy stuff. I've seen me. Chauncey Gillups and all you be. I go to the college, right? And I'm like, I'm like, cuz, this is like 10 minutes away from the crib, man. This ain't Temple. It ain't St. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't Joe's. It ain't, it ain't Nova. Vanilla. No Villanova. He said, no, this is Cabrini. I said, cuz. Oh, you went to Cabrini? I said, cuz. Cuz, this is the size of one neighborhood block. I went in there, I mean... I'm like, no, no, I went in there. I'm like, okay, I know why you good. This is, this is, this is a white college. There ain't nobody else on the team but him. So I said, okay. Snow Bunnies was everywhere. I ain't going to front. I'm yeah, like, I partied at Cabrini one time. You did? Yeah. You had a great time. But well, I'm like, this is a neighborhood college. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to like Villanova. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be here. It's going to be face. parties. Da -da 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 -da. So we get to the joint. He telling me, oh, no, no, you know, I, I got the letters at the crib. I said, you ain't get a letter from Michigan. You ain't get a letter from Duke. You ain't get a letter from Ohio State. Whole time I'm telling you, cuz, uh, uh, what's, what's the name? Hey, you see how many of them letters I got, boy, from everywhere. My, Miami over Ohio, I think, one is <laughs> some <laughs> like that. <laughs> they was, that was it. I said, wait a I said, Miami is not in Ohio, because I don't know it back then. I'm like, it's no, I said, this fake. He came out I and said, he was Miami like, is Miami in Ohio? in Ohio? I said, why? The so, I, you know, we, I'm young at this time. I'm like, I'm like, cuz, man, I don't think you that good, man. I told him that. I said, I don't think you that good. He told me, I'm telling you, man, they gonna come get me. I said, man, I come ain't on, man. not I playing here. Letters from everywhere, Virginia. I ain't seen no letters from nobody. You've seen Cop and State. Ohio. you seen everywhere. Cop and State. Yeah, that's D1. You getting NIL deals back in the day would have been hilarious. hilarious. That would have been crazy. They would gave him, they probably gave him like a, some free food from like the neighborhood restaurant. <laughs> Had been his NIL. I, I do have a mess. Hold on, I have a message. <laughs> Gilly, I do have a message from our friend Jamal Crawford. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, because you know, we're going Barbecue up and back. The, he oh, said he said to tell I him. Bit. He said, "Tell Gilly, I had stopped working out, but now I'm back motivated just for him. Stop running. I, I'm he told been, you to stop running. I've been trying to get to Jamal and his son forever." I'm gonna listen. Oh, I'm gonna be Jamal's bank because you know the bank of Shakovia stays open. Name your amount. First of all, you know they no, said. No, name first your of all, amount. Let me just tell you the rules, though. You know they said that Jamal can only take two dribbles. 
Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's Why? what they said. They who? They who handicapped. They? Just please, they please handicapped read, Jamal. Please read I will. When I DM Jamal. Would you like me to read? Please, okay. please read that. Do you want me to read in your voice or read, white guy read it voice? However you white guy voice. Molly Mal, please don't pay my cousin any attention. He smoked some bad when he called you out. <laughs> Legend, please give him a pass. He's only four I foot nine and a half. Shit. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your time. Just to let you know, on January 26, 2007, you became my favorite player when you put up 52 on the heat. Keep being great. I, I looked at uh, four, look, nine and a half. He's a loser. Like, I'm just saying, he'd be saying all types of crazy Well, look, he only know. goes with winners, so it sounds like he's predicting Jamal's going to win, yeah, so he's gonna, already aligning with Let me Jamal. just tell you something. There's no way Jamal going to beat Damian Gillard, Sam Gassell, <laughs> Shea Gildas Alexander, Chauncey Manu Gillips. Gil Nobly. <laughs> Chauncey Gillips. You and, know. Hold on. And Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> and if I'm really on, I'm Mike Gill Jordan. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. Man, I'm hey. you, well, you got him in nicknames. Hey, you guys. We try, what would be your strategy if we played two on two? He was Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, that was me. Well, I had to snatch that name away from that. He, he Shaq name all of them. Oh, no, no, no. A couple, a couple young kids in no Philly slammed on me. My ACL was messed up. Right. That don't count. And I said, I said that Shaq never count. got dunked on. That Somebody would have went to the hospital no, first. We were playing on the crate, cuz. I was on A-corner. <laughs> they dunked on you. Uh, they snatched that name back from him. You hear me? Million dollars worth of game everywhere that you download podcasts. Honor having you guys here, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. I love you anytime, brother. I need something to eat, man. Where the grub at? You, you going to stop hungry? feeding everybody. Man, they, if they say they come to the sp- Do that everywhere we go. Come on, man. Don't be policing me, man. You policing me. Flat, everywhere we go. Uh, got some uh, cold stuff. Yeah, go upstairs. <laughs> some macaroni salad. Yeah. Some Nigga, what, coleslaw salad. 12 o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. Potato salad. Hey, man. With the big beans. Go get some meat. Ken Dog will take y'all upstairs. Uh, Ken Dog, see, that's my man. We got man. the chef. We got the no, chef. No, don't feed him yeah, nothing. Ken Dog, he don't got nothing. Whatever y'all want. I get, I get right. it to him. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's strong, man. What, Neff? I'll lay you up, Neff. <laughs> Neff, I'm telling you. I will lay you up, Neff. Me and Wilder will work y'all two out, man. No, y'all no, no, would not. No, y'all would not. Yeah, y'all tried it, but okay. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. I eat it. Man, chef made me some fried rice. Hey, Gil. Got some snacks. You got a chef up there. Yeah. Hey. Bye, y'all. All right, y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. All right, hit me up if you need me. Uh-huh. All right. Once you start going right here, it don't matter what this look like, bro. Everybody uh, see that right that. there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tell my man, man, go get that shit done up, man. <laughs> that shit not loving you no more. You, 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 you trying to fool me because your shit cool right here and all that. No. <laughs> Pigeon gonna land right on your shit, man. Let that shit go, baby. My fucking eagle land right on top of your fucking bitch. <laughs> That's my nigga, man. That's one of the most solid niggas I, I came to draw. I'm with you, man. The same way, all the same time. Same nigga, all man. Way. All the time, baby. The cop pulled us over, so the window rolled down, all that smoke. That nigga said, Smoke, hit him in the face and say, Go ahead, man, get up out of here. Get up out of here. Go ahead. Let's get a flick. 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 Let's get